Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use a Crunchyroll app. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you start using Crunchyroll here to start watching anyway. Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to install the app itself. So the app is installable or you can install the app via the Google Play Store or the App Store. In this case, I'm actually using the Android or my Android device here. So the steps that you'll be seeing later on are actually quite similar on your iPhone if you're using that. But in this case, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and open up Crunchyroll here. So the first thing you need to do here is you need to have an account in Crunchyroll. So the first thing you need to do is you need to either sign in or sign up. So signing up via or signing up in Crunchyroll is pretty easy. Just follow the steps, providing your email, setting your password here, and just confirming or verifying your email. And from then on, you should be good. Now, how do we start using the app itself? Well, in this case, let's first dissect the different sections or different tabs that we can actually access here. So at the very bottom of your screen, you have Home, My List, Browse, Simulcast, and Account. In this case, we will first discuss home here. So the home page here will contain your home page. But in this case, if you're already watching something, you should be able to see it in this section here. Now, in this case, you could also see the top picks for you. So depending on how, on what type of genre or what type of anime that you're watching, they would actually recommend you different anime that you might like and you might want to start watching. Now, also, you should be able to see a section for like the recently watched. So if you're watching something, you should be able to continue, continue it via this section here. Now, you should also get news about new episodes, recent episodes here, and uh, seasonal samplers or seasonal uh, seasonal anime that you could actually watch in here. Now you should also be able to see most popular, so what are people actually watching right now, which is something really cool, so you'll be updated on what is what is currently trending right now. So also at the very top, you have the uh, magnifying icon as well as the cast icon. Now the great thing about Crunchyroll here is if you have like, for example, a smart TV that is connected to the internet, you could actually connect to that TV and cast what you're currently watching to that TV, which is something really cool, especially if you want to watch anime on the big screen or in your television. So you won't need to actually connect your phone manually, you just need to use your Wi-Fi. Again, if, you're, if you only have like, for example, a smart TV at your home that is connected to the internet or in the same Wi-Fi as your phone. Now, you also have the magnifying glass here. Now, the magnifying glass here actually allows you to search for different anime. So this case, let's go and utilize this. Let's go and click on it. Now, maybe we are looking for an anime here. So maybe I want to say I'm looking for, uh, let's say Naruto. So I'm looking for Naruto here. Let's go and search for that. And as you can see, we should be able to see top results for Naruto. So it's going to give you different recommendations here, like for example, top results for the keyword that you enter, the series that is available for, from that specific type of uh, keyword, and also episodes that is actually connected to the keyword that you enter. Like for example, uh, you are watching a series and you can't remember the actual title, but you remember the actual episode it's actually on. Well, in this case, you could actually use the keyword search function here and you'll be able to find that specific episode if you're actually looking for it. In this case, for you to start watching it, you just need to go ahead and open up one of the series here. So for example, I'm going to open up Naruto Shippuden here. Now from here, to get you started on watching the actual episode here, you just need to select the episode that you want to watch. For example, we have the episode one here. So by default, if you haven't started watching it, you should be able to see the start watching at the bottom of your screen here. And once you click on it, it's going to start playing the anime that you want to watch. In this case, it's going to start at episode 1. Now, Also, at the bottom of your screen, you should be able to also see the next episode, which is something really cool, and you'll be able to readily uh, skip or go to the next episode very, very easily. Now, in this case, uh, you could go ahead and start watching it, and you could also see comments here if you want to, so how people are actually, uh, what are, how people are actually reacting on a specific episode. So, seeing the reaction of different people here is something really cool, and something that you should really anticipate, because sometimes they're going to really overreact on a specific episode, and they will be, uh, sometimes they will be really surprised or really uh, see their interactions or see their reactions on specific episodes. But yeah, so in this case, that's how you start watching different anime or episodes here on Crunchyroll. Now, what are the other, other tabs here or other functionalities that we can access? Now, we also have the My List section. 
Now the my list section actually contains your list. In this case, they would contain this would actually contain watch list, which is your list, your crunchy list, your history, and your offline videos if you or offline uh, series if you have the premium version of Crunchyroll. So in this case, just to give an example, I'm going to actually um, add a specific anime here on my list. So for example, let's go ahead and choose this one. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on this one. And from here, let's go ahead and go to Naruto Shippuden. Let's go and click on the name itself. So at the very bottom right of your screen, you should be able to see the bookmark icon. Let's go and click on it. And as you can see, it's now added to watch list. Now, once we actually go back to our list here, it's now added into our watch list. They also have crunchy list here, which in this case, uh, you could basically create your own list here if you want to. So think of this as a specific uh, playlist that you could actually create. They also have history here, so you'll be able to see what you re recently watched. If, for example, if you recently watched an episode, or if you're wondering where what episode you are now, because sometimes you want if you like to skip episodes, you could go ahead and view them as well. Now, if you want to manage them, you could go ahead and clear your history or even select them if you want to. And again, if you have the premium version of a Crunchyroll here, you should be able to see offline series that you've downloaded on your account here. But yeah. So in this case, we have the browse option here, which in this case will give you different uh, options to browse different anime or different type of anime. So there are going to be some popular animes here. There are going to be some recommended animes based on what you like. So you also have at the very top, you have simulcast. So simulcast would actually contains anime that is currently uh, ongoing so meaning you'll be able to uh, basically uh, watch uh anime or the latest episodes on specific animes but in this case for you to watch the most or recent episodes of specific anime or series you need to have the uh, plan or premium plan for crunchyroll now the older episodes like for example if there's a second season like for example we have tuki michi moonlight uh, it's actually on the second season, so you can actually watch season one. But if you want to watch season two or the latest episodes of season two, you need to have your plan or premium plan for Crunchyroll. Now, we also have anime genres if you want to explore different genres of anime like comedy, drama, adventure, action, or even fantasy. They also have simulcast here. Again, uh, same thing on the browse here. So you should, be, you should be able to easily access it at the bottom here. And also account here, which in this case, you should be able to change a few things. Like for example, if you want to enable mature content, if you want to view that on your uh, Crunchyroll account, also the subtitles, audio language, if you want to change the language for that also. And if you want to show closed captions, if you want to. Now in this case, uh, you should be able to change a few things about your account if you want to, like notifications and whatnot. Now in this case, if you want to upgrade your plan to a, a premium one, you can go ahead and click on subscriptions here. And from here, just click on go premium and you should be able to choose the uh, plan that you want to use. So for example, we have fan here, which is $10.99 a month. Mega fan is $13.99 and the annual mega fan here, which is $139.99 a year. Now, in this case, if you're going to use the annual mega fan here, you'll be able to save more because you'll be paying for the whole year. So instead of using mega fan here, you'll be paying monthly. But yeah, so it depends on what you want to get here. So if you just want to watch the latest episodes and it's just, it's just one uh, person, we could just use the fan option here. But if you want to get more features like simulcast the same day, the same day at Japan or stream in four devices, if you want to share your account, you could use the mega fan here. So if you want to share your device to four different people, you could go ahead and do that. But yeah, so those are the things you need to remember to start using Crunchyroll here. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.